Well, how is everyone today? We are going to get to go race our bicycles. Finally, it's been five, six weeks since the last race that, that I personally have gotten to do. If you follow the channel, you've seen this place before. I raced here twice last year and I have something in my eye. But this is none other than uh, the, the Battle of the Bikes at Ferris Memorial Park in Mayodan, not Maiden, North Carolina. I love racing my bike. I love beating and banging elbows. Uh, this year with, you know, we sold our house. It's just been a heck of a year. Some of it's been stressful. Uh, nothing that I can complain about too much. It's just like, it's definitely been on the back burner kind of thing. But I don't ever sign up for a race that I'm not gonna try and win. No matter my fitness, I'm gonna give it my all. And I'm not gonna just let people win. <laughs> so going into this though, my, my mindset, like I had about, I think five weeks off. Uh, from racing and I got in some some very good rides I mean thankfully I've been doing a, a, a little bit of strength training as well been changing up some of my training I wanted to see how well that worked this race was more of an experiment it was more or less I guess let's see how good I can do on less time per week training so let's just see if it worked at all you don't look it's loose. so loud do I have this on backwards I do so I've got my headset on backwards, but it's okay. It's okay. Oh, so real quick, David here is the promoter. Awesome dude. I'm not asking him to not play music, but sometimes I have to turn the uh, volume completely off on the video at the start finish line because it's playing copyrighted music. And the one time I left it in, YouTube picked it up. It was uh, flagging it. <laughs> so. I have to mute it sometimes if the music gets too loud. So that that's why. It's not your speakers. I will just uh, I try I'm going to try to work around it. So the start for this is a perfect start for me. I don't know what it is this year. I'm usually great at starts. I cannot get clipped in this year. I screw up my clip in again this time. But luckily this start is like a freaking mile long. So it didn't affect me that much. Right here, uh, that guy, I think his name is Sam. I talked to him for the first time, I think, at this race. I think this might be the first year I've ever raced him. I let Greg go. Um, I wasn't gonna hold him up. Greg is super fast, I've raced him before. We actually raced at a short track, like, four years ago or something, super nice guy. And then if you remember, Chris, who's just now in front of me, the very first race of the year that I did, Chris raced with us. He beat me there, he's a, he's a strong dude. But the, the way I was able to get around him at that first race was he kept slipping out. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I don't know if it's tire choice, tire pressure, whatever you want to chalk it up to. He was slipping and sliding everywhere. Lo and behold, at this event. Oh. Uh, I came around Chris. Uh, this course is only about, it's a little over four miles. We ended up doing 26 miles total. We're doing six laps. But you have this first little woods section here of actual trail and you pop out onto the gravel road. I knew that I had to catch Sam and Greg before that gravel road. I, I barely, barely, barely got on. Like this, this was a stinger right here because I, you can tell I am not on yet. I'm not on yet. Pop out onto the gravel. I'm still not on, but they're right there. Greg is going around Sam right now to pick the pace up to keep it high. So I am having to go even harder than they are going. And I get on, but it was just like, 
I bet all my veins were popping out of my neck right then. Once I got on, I settled down. I'm, I do, and I've been working at this, getting my heart rate to come back down quickly, uh, recovering. One more thing. If you notice my, my GoPro's angled down a little bit more, I did not check it as much as I should have before the race. I had to leave very early to make this race in time, and I, I kind of screwed that up. So you, you'll see me halfway through the race, I actually move it up. It is what it is, you live and learn. I need to mark it so I know where it needs to be at all times, but that's why it's angled down a little bit. I apologize. courses we've raced this year have honestly just been like super super fast in my opinion easy courses this stuff where we're just haul butt the entire time i am i'm not as good at but it's honestly because i just don't get the training on this kind of stuff like racing is my training for this kind of course i need to start doing rides like this once a week if i want to get better at it so this first lap with me trying to hold their wills I was using my fitness, I'm going to hope, more than they were to keep up because I would get gapped on some of these turns and I would come out of those turns mashing the crap out of those pedals to make sure I stayed on because uh, they, they were leaving me in some of the turns. This is where I got into some trouble. The, the ending of this course is way, way tighter in the turns than the beginning. So like right here, I screwed up major. Came around that turn, had to unclip, and it's literally, for my skill level, I have to ride a perfect race to stay with them. I can't mess up even a minuscule amount and I had to unclip. So I use a lot of my fitness, come up that gravel road you just saw and they're just right there, <laughs> giving it my 110% right now. And you can tell because I am going from one side of the trail to the other side of the trail. So come back out to the start finish area and I just put my head down. I was like, I, I have to, I have to catch them before um, the second gravel section again. So look how close I got. Uh, this was irritating. I uh, can take my water bottle and throw it I would still miss because I'm terrible with those kinds of sports, but I, I would get close to Greg. But you could tell my breath, man, I am laboring like a maniac. Wait for me. 
they never wait on me. I have asked every race for them to wait on me, and they don't. I like, I don't know if I smell. So right here is where it was really demoralizing because I was that close going into that woods section, but I know for a fact that they are faster than I am in the woods. So you can tell that they gained a little time coming out. And in my head, it was a mind game right here because I knew if I did not catch them before the woods right here, it was over. So I keep playing this mind game where I'm like, don't think that, anything can happen. One of them can slip out, one of them can flat, anything can happen. And I, I don't give up. I'm very good about not giving up, but the mind games are real. Another negative point about this course, I love this course, it's it's super fun, but this is one of them, similar to like Mazeppa Park. Uh, there's, not, there's not really a great section where you can just put your head down and gain back 30 seconds. Like it is going to be a one or two second gain here, one or two second gain there. There's not a muscle your way back on portion of this course. And that's what I think is difficult. Like this is a very, very fast paced skill course. Okay, so right here, I kept looking back. I think you can see it a couple times. Nathan, who I've, I think I've raced him at all of these this year so far, super strong dude. He got on the wheel of Brandon and Juan. Those two dudes are in a different category than we are in, different age group category. They're super strong. So he got on their wheel. Those two were catching up. So right here, I'm like, all right, I know I'm gonna get caught. And I wanted to have enough energy just to sit on, hopefully recover. I was really banking on them catching me on this gravel, but they didn't, uh, which kind of sucked <laughs> because it means that they passed me in the woods, which is a little harder to sit on. <laughs> So they got around and my plan to sit on their wheel went perfectly according to plan for all of like a minute. Go for it, dude. Right. One more. Right here. Woo -hoo! Yeah! One more. Man, I, I think that constant, the first lap, two laps, you know, of me like surging to try and catch back up to Sam and Greg just really took it out of my legs. I'm super proud of my performance today, more so than any race I've done this year, only because even though I got dropped from, from Nathan, Nathan is third right now, I'm sitting fourth. Even though I got dropped from him, I stayed with Sam and Greg for the first lap. Second lap, I held my own. Third lap, I started falling apart. <laughs> So I backed it off a little bit, and by the time the sixth lap happened, I had recovered. And honestly, once this race was over, I felt like I could go do another six laps. But this is not an endurance race. This, this is a cross-country mountain bike race. So it's two hours max. Most of them are typically an hour and a half. So it's just going as hard as you can go for, for that limited amount of time. Mainly at this point, I, I, I never went anaerobic again, but I kept it as steady and as high paced as I could without being anaerobic.
Do I now? Okay. All right, here you go. Thank you. You too, be safe. That's about it guys. I just ride in. Uh, I got fourth on the day. I am super pleased with it. Little, little disappointed I couldn't hold on for a podium position on third. But seeing as how I, I took about a month off of racing, fourth place in my first race back, it's not bad. I am pleasantly surprised with that. I'm going to work on my fast paced skills, uh, my, my speed skills. I don't know what you want to call them. I'm going to work on those. I'm going to go see if I can't get a little bit faster at that stuff. So that's what I have for you. I, again, guys, I, I appreciate every one of you. The next one is in Raleigh, I think. That one's even farther than this one out, man. A lot of us were talking. I don't know if I'll be able to make that one, and I just got a text. I don't know if I'll be able to make that one, but we'll see. I'm not gonna rule it out, but that's a long ways out. Anyway, guys, thank you all for supporting the channel. I'm, I'm terrible at goodbyes, guys. I'm really, really bad at goodbyes, so I don't know how to end this. Um, I think, I don't know, transitions are weird. <laughs>